El Capitan is known by many as a sheer granite wall in Yosemite Valley, but El Capitan is also the name of a lake in San Diego County. We visited Lake El Capitan for some late season bass fishing that was sheer pleasure. He attacked it hard. And in the galley, we'll show you a delicious grilled salmon recipe that's easy to make at home. We've got a great show lined up for you, so stay Let's tuned for this week's episode of Sport oh. Fishing. Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez is brought to you by Sport Chalet and by Berkeley Trilane, super strong fishing line. Say, Ed, you did remember to get those extra tackle boxes, didn't you? Yeah. How about the net? Yes. And you got the bait, right? <laughs> yes, Dennis. <laughs> How about the tri lead? Yeah. Ed? I got plenty of fishing line. Ed, Ed, Ed. We ain't going fishing without Berkeley tri lead. Berkeley tri lead, America's number one selling fishing line. Finally, a fish hook that penetrates two and a half times faster than regular hooks. New AccuPoint Knife Edge Hooks from Mustad. They feature a streamlined knife edge point for faster penetration and quicker hook sets. And with 30% more strength, they're on the cutting edge of technology. So for unmatched hook performance, pick up new AccuPoint Knife Edge Hooks from Mustad. I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to a very special episode of Sport Fishing. Today we're going to go largemouth bass fishing here at El Capitan Reservoir in San Diego County. And our guide today will be George Kramer. Hey George, how you doing? How are you doing, Dan? Real good. I've known George for a long time. You're probably familiar with him. He writes regularly for Western Outdoor News every week. He's also been seen in other publications. And me and George go back to when I was a field reporter for Western Outdoor News, which was many years ago. Hey, but we don't look it, do we? <laughs> so what are we going to be doing today, George? Well, we hope uh, that the topwater fish will cooperate for us because that always makes it interesting. And of course, if they don't, we'll go deep and look for them down uh, 15 to 30 feet. So we're either going to be fishing the plugs on the surface or the worms down deep. That's it. OK, well, why don't we get out on the water and go get us some fish? All right, sounds good. El Capitan Lake is located in the eastern portion of San Diego County and is the only reservoir on the San Diego River. It was created with the completion of the dam in 1934. 
It's the largest of nine reservoirs owned and operated by the City of San Diego Water Utilities District. El Capitan operates year-round on a varied schedule according to the season and offers everything from boat rentals to complete tackle, bait, and food concessions. Well known for its bass, it's also a great place to bring the family for crappie, bluegill, and catfish. The bait's been coming up here in this zone here to our left, so I didn't want to come right in on top of them. And uh, hopefully they'll show for us a little bit here while we're in this area. What are they feeding on on the surface? Uh, threadfin shad. They're schooled up right now, and it's really the last big splash for the whole species are, that are warm water species are gearing up for uh, winter, which may come, El Nino or not. We're right in the middle, I would say, of the lake. This is the place. We're seeing all these boils, birds working. Maybe you can explain what exactly is going on. Well, what's happening is it's, it's the end of the year. The summer is waning. The water temperature in this big part of the lake is still warmer than it is in the backs of the arms. And the threadfin shad are making their last bit of foraging. The algae in the water is growing. The water is clear here, where it is not so clear in the backwaters. And this concentrates the bait fish and the bass. They know it's fall is on the way too, Dan, and so they're going to make their last shot at a meal. You don't always catch really big fish out here chasing, but usually there's a lot of activity. And you watch for the birds, and they're the, really the key. Get Can you explain a little bit about these birds? and? And all the, the shad that we're seeing and all sure. that's happening? Bass is an opportunist. He's not really built for speed like a tuna. Right. He's not going to be an endless chasing. However, he's in good shape this time of year, and he knows there's a change in conditions. And so he's going to start to try to corner the threadfin shad, which is a small bait fish, and there's millions of them. Now, they, they, they typically like to get their fish on an edge. Now, where is an edge, you say? Obviously, the shoreline's an edge. Mm -hmm. Well, where's the edge out here in the middle of the lake? the surface. They know they can't take an elevator and go up to the 18th floor. <laughs> Once the bass catch them up here to the top, uh -huh. he's got them cornered. So they'll just kind of corral them all together, a couple of bass together? They'll, pod, they'll work them in a pod and uh, use the surface as their ally, just like, uh, just like in a basketball or football where you use the sidelines as their ally. Well, George has us in a hot spot here. we got fish working all around us. I know we're going to get some. Well, let's visit the tackle box and take a good look at the rods and reels you'll need for this type of fishing. The Tackle Box, tips and information to help every angler improve their chances on the water. This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by the San Diego Sport Fishing Council. In today's show, we hope to show you a couple of different ways to take largemouth bass. Now these techniques and these styles of lures and stuff that we're using at the San Diego Lake Al Capitan, you can use in any Southern California lake. Now we're gonna start out by looking for surface fish. And the way we're going to fish those fish is with the Rebel Pop R. This is the lure here. And what we're going to do is throw the lure like this on the breaking fish while they're chasing the shad. Remember, the, those bass really have the shad pinned. Even though we're out in the middle, there's no more farther up those fish can go. They're on the surface. And that's why we see them break the water, because they're trying to get away from the bass that are feeding on them. We throw this right in the middle of that. We pop it. And then we just let the bass come up and attack it. Now one of the things we'll do while we'll cast it out there is sometimes just cast it to the fish, make one or two pops, and then just leave the lure stationary there. Just let it sit there for a second or two, and I've seen fish come up and bite it before just like that. Now the outfit that I'm using for this, this is a light action legacy Fenwick rod. It's a spinning rod, and then we have a Daiwa 1300 reel. Now if you're more comfortable using a baitcaster type outfit, it works fine, but the fish today were a distance from us, so I was going with a spinning outfit like this. And this is a lure again that you should use. Now one last tip on the surface fish. Because these fish are either breaking the surface or just below the surface, it helps if you have a quality pair of sunglasses. These are Hobie, they're polarized, and because they're polarized, we're able to see through the glare and spot fish that are just below or just barely at the surface level and we can use these glasses to help us get another fish or two. Well, let's get back on the water and join George and see if we can get us some largemouth bass. Nope, he's going to jump again. Sure, that's a nice bass. I like that knee bent action thing. That's watching those, uh, that watching those fishing shows. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right. Well, in. let's see if we can't get this little fella aboard. Well, let's try it this way instead. Is that a typical size bass? There's no bad bass. <laughs> No. Yeah, this is a typical size of uh, many lakes. Now, as we mentioned previously, at El Capitan, the limit's 15 inches. It's one of the real important conservation moves that's been put on down here in the city of San Diego. And that it's just, fish should go over 15. Now, well, he's close, but uh, you can see how well built he is. Uh -huh. He's been eating shad. Look at that belly. See, he kind of looks like me after lunch. <laughs> And this, this pop bar looks like it's caught some fish before. It's kind yeah, of I kind of wondered if I was going to get a bite or not. That's <laughs> one of my favorites. Well, let's let him go. Anyway, send him back. Really appreciate him being with us today. There you go. All right, George, that was good. <laughs> I feel Break a little better eyes. now. <laughs> <laughs> You're smiling, at Look least. Look at that. <laughs> They're breaking right there behind All the right, boat. I'm next. OK, let's get one, Dan. Well, stay tuned and we'll be right back with more action from Al Capitan. If you're serious about your sport, you demand the best tools available. Years ago, Fenwick was established with high ideals to supply active anglers with only the finest products and service designed by fishermen for fishermen to make every moment on the water the best it could be. That's where we started and that's where we remain today, at the forefront in superior performance in rods, fly lines, travel gear, and outdoor clothing. Fenwick performance for dedicated fishermen. Available at Wayne's Tackle and a dealer near you. If you live for the excitement of fishing like this, there's only one name you need to know. Pen, performance match tackle systems. For trolling, light tackle, jigging and casting, even downrigger fishing. Every model engineered to outperform and last longer than anything else on the market today. Penn, the great American tackle company. See the entire Penn lineup at your Penn tackle dealer today. Turner's Outdoorsman presents the Berkeley Trilene Mystery Fish Contest. Correctly guess the common name for today's fish and receive a coupon for a free spool of your choice of Berkeley Trilene line. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope with today's fish number to Mystery Fish, care of Turner's Outdoorsman, 12615 Colony Street, Chino, California, 91710. Turner's Outdoorsman is Southern California's largest Berkeley dealer. Get Berkeley Trilene and other fine Berkeley products at a Turner's Outdoorsman near you. We've got fish jumping all around us. And I'm going to switch to a little bit lighter outfit. I was throwing 12 pound test now. I'm going to try 10. And I've gone to a spinning reel. And this is a Rebel Pop R. And we got the fish just working all around us here. We're really not even chasing them. They're just kind of coming to us. And George has us looking for birds and stuff. And I'll try this. Let's see what we can do. Adjust my drag here a little bit. There we go. Boom. working right on the surface. Man, I couldn't have thrown that any better. You were right on them. You are right on them. Kind of reminds you of those bluefin tuna. <laughs> I think they, they, they check the brand of hook before they come up and bite. Well, they're checking who's throwing it. They're going, Hernandez, he's not known for bass. I'll go by Kramer's lure. <laughs> <laughs> it's more respectable. He's on. All right, I got one, George. Yeah, here he comes. Ew, <laughs> nice fish. Keep that rod low when they jump, otherwise they might shake you. Okay. Ooh, I'm on! Oh, we got a double going. Well, you're not gonna wait for me to get this one in first? Well, I'd like to be polite and everything, but <laughs> it's not in me. <laughs> Here hey, we that's go. a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. He's staying with me. Here See, we go. Just grab the head of that bait, you'll be safer. The bait? The plug, yeah, grab the plug. Okay. Now you're right. Look at this fish. He, he got uh, him. This is a large mouth that eats like I do. It started about this far away and sucked up everything in between. Okay. Got we both hooks in there. Well, uh, this is my first large mouth on a pop bar. Hey, and it's a great bait. It didn't take very long into the day to do it, I tell you. Yeah, now you can stay out of my tackle box. 
Oh, I gotta fight this puppy the rest of the way up here. Yeah, we got a double going. Let me release my fish real quick. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's ready. Well, there's yours. Yeah, shaking his head a little bit down there. Just must have just picked it up by that tail hook there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. See, you beat me by half a pound. But you can see they're getting a little fuss here. That's usually a sign of that. You get uh, you start hooking them on that tail hook. But of course, that's why they got two hooks on them. <laughs> hey, a lot of places that'd be a real prize. Way to go, Mr. El Capitan Bass. All right, George. Thanks a lot. That was great. Got two there. Yeah, that's pretty scary. <laughs> Getting a double. Yeah. Well, we're still out here in the middle of the lake. It's been a real good bite here in the morning. We got lucky. We had two doubles on at one time. That's hard to believe. I mean, come out here. And we got out a little late. We actually didn't start fishing until 8 o'clock. And it's just coming up on about 10. And I think George and I both had at least three, four fish each. And like I said, twice we had doubles on. This fishing's fantastic. George, we haven't fished together for what, about eight years? Yeah, probably five, six years. At we had least. that wild trip down there in San Diego. Yeah, I yeah, got my... a chance to fish with one of your boys. Yeah, my son was, uh, is, uh, always wanted to fish the ocean now. He just doesn't think this bass fishing's nearly as much fun as getting <laughs> chased around the rail twice on an 85 footer. <laughs> and he also liked the burgers. Yeah, he had some serious burgers. <laughs> Last time me and George fished together, we were on the American Angler on a Barracuda trip fishing Coronado Islands. And uh, today he's been nice enough to come out with us, introduce us to largemouth bass fishing here at San Diego Lakes and at Lake El Capitan. See around us, we got guys fishing with just rental boats and they're catching fish too. It's just proof that you don't have to have that high expensive, high end, you know, real fancy bass boat to catch fish. You can come out here when the fish are biting like this on the surface, just, uh, you know, grab one of the kids or some friends and rent one of those boats and find the fish breaking on the surface like this. We're still using these pop bars and the key is George is just positioning the boat around the birds that are circling, that are chasing the bait fish, and then we're just throwing these pop bars right on top of the breaking uh, bait fish and the game fish, and the bass are there. We'll return in a moment with the galley and a simple and delicious way to prepare your fish at home. Turner's Outdoorsman, the West Coast's largest fishing and hunting retailer, is proud to supply our customers with quality products. Daiwa's sea line reels and VIP rods are sure to become the gear of choice among serious anglers. For a limited time, purchase any saltwater VIP rod and receive a Daiwa VIP t-shirt absolutely free. Braid Products, the largest variety of offshore fishing accessories in the world. From belts and harnesses to hook rigs and lures, Braid fills the need of every saltwater angler. Fish with the best, fish with Braid. Turner's Outdoorsman, serving Southern California for over 20 years, now in 11 convenient locations. The Sport Fishing Adventures Travel Line. Your passport to incredible fishing worldwide. Alaska, Costa Rica, Mexico, and more. The Sport Fishing Adventures Travel Line will take you there. For the trip of a lifetime, every time, call the Sport Fishing Adventures Travel Line, 800-423-9731. Nothing is more exciting than fooling a fish into believing that an artificial lure is actually alive and good to eat. Too many baits are designed to catch the fisherman's attention in a tackle shop, but the best lures stand out in the jaws of game fish. That's where you'll find the Bradco brands, Rebel, Bomber, Cordell, Hedden, and Creek Chubb. Because we make lures that catch fish. The Galley. Recipes and tips for preparing your fish at home. This week, the galley is brought to you by Acme Lures. Our galley segment this week comes to us from 22nd Street Grill and Bar, located just above 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. Standing next to me is Ed Connolly, and he's the manager here at 22nd Street Landing Grill and Bar Restaurant. And it's located right on top of Skipper's 22nd Street Landing here in beautiful San Pedro. And if you've never been here, it's got a beautiful view of the harbor and everything, looking at all the sport boats. 
And today you're going to be preparing for us a special dish. Today I'm going to grill a piece of king salmon on our apple and citrus grill. And I know you haven't been here that long, but it seems like it was just yesterday you opened. We've been here a little over two years and we're quickly becoming the place in Southern California for fresh seafood. Now what kind of specialties do you have here? Our specialty is fresh, fresh fish. Any given day you can get 10 to 20 fresh fish, an assortment of sautéed pastas, meat, seafood, anything you can imagine. And I've been on the boats coming back on Sunday afternoons and I've seen large crowds out here. And you have outdoor dining and the full restaurant in here. Let's get over to the grill. I want to see that salmon. What we're going to do here is we're going to grill a piece of fresh king salmon. While this is the simplest way I can think of to pre prepare fresh fish, it's also what I think is the best way to prepare fresh fish. Um, there's a couple things you want to remember, and it's probably the things people do that give them the most trouble with grilling fish. I'm going to do this on an indoor wood-burning grill. You can do it outside on your barbecue or if you have a grill in the house. Um, the thing you want to remember is always let your coals get hot. And another trick that you want to use that we use at the restaurant is baste your grill with oil. What I use is a little soy oil and that way your fish won't stick. Okay, when your grill gets nice and hot, you just want to put your fish right on there. All right, when you see on the side of the fish that it's starting to cook up from the bottom, then it's time to make one of the moves that we make as we cook the fish. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn it at opposite angle of which it was initially put on. That'll give it the nice cross mark. You see here on the top, because we, we crisscrossed when we flipped it, we've got nice crisscross marking. It's not essential to the final product but it does add in the presentation. Here at the restaurant, we like to think our food looks as good as it tastes. To grill a piece of fish like this, you can plan on it taking anywhere from six to 10 minutes, depending on how hot your grill is, depending on how thick your fish is. This fish looks done now. The last thing we're gonna do, and the only thing we add to our fresh fish here at 22nd Street Landing, is we brush with a little bit of paprika butter adds a little moisture to the surface. That looks done. Here's your king salmon. Thank you, Ed. I'm try a little piece of it. Boy, you're a great cook. Well, thank you. And for those of you who've never been to 22nd Street Landing here in San Pedro, remember the barn grill is located right on top of the sport fishing landing. It's a great place to come Either have a drink after a fishing trip or come grab a, a nice meal. Well, thank you, Ed. I'm going to finish this before I get back on the water. The surface fishing using these plugs and the pop bars that we're using today is a pretty basic type of action and, and it's easy to do. But to better explain how to fish this type of lure, we're going to have George demonstrate for us. Why don't you show our viewers how to work that, George? Okay. Well, the pop bar is a floating bait and so uh, it has a cup mouth and so you need to do something to get that forward action and so usually what we do is twitch the rod tip with the low position give it a couple twitches and then as you bring the rod back reel up the slack so you pop 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 pause pop pause it varies because it sometimes takes a different kind of uh, action of the bait to uh, garner a response and, and does hey, it depend on how um, hard the fish are feeding on how quick you make it pop or how quick you make the lure go across the surface uh, sometimes it's how fast my heart is beating as the fish are boiling. So it has a big effect on how fast I move my lure. As a, as a rule of thumb, a medium retrieve. But sometimes they're, they're just telling you that they need a little bit less coaxing. Other times, maybe there's a ripple on the water and they can't find that pop bar on the, in the glaze of the surface. So that's when you really give it some real action and, uh, and really keep it coming. Well, we have a pretty much a smooth surface today, so a couple of pops at a pause, a couple of pops at a pause, or, of course, if you can throw it right on top of the boil, and that's when they usually turn, in, mm. and then we look like real fishermen. Well, that's when we got those doubles, when we threw them right on top of those fish breaking. Hey, that's what it's all about when you fish in top water. Be sure to join us next week as we travel to the East Cape region of Baja, Mexico. Beautiful, Daddy. <laughs> Beautiful. For some hot blue marlin fishing. We'll be right back with the tip of the week. 
Turner's Outdoorsman presents the Berkeley Trilene Mystery Fish Contest. Correctly guess the common name for today's fish and receive a coupon for a free spool of your choice of Berkeley Trilene line. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope with today's fish number to Mystery Fish, care of Turner's Outdoorsman, 12615 Colony Street, Chino, California, 91710. Turner's Outdoorsman is Southern California's largest Berkeley dealer. Get Berkeley Trilene and other fine Berkeley products at a Turner's Outdoorsman near you. If you live for the excitement of fishing like this, there's only one name you need to know. PAM, Performance Match Tackle Systems. For trolling, light tackle, jigging and casting, even downrigger fishing. Every model engineered to outperform and last longer than anything else on the market today. At Sport Chalet, we'll treat you like one of the family and fit you like a pro. Cut. It's pro, Dad. Pro. Pin. Available at Sport Chalet. Fishtails is brought to you by Checkpoint Hook and Knife Sharpeners. This week's Fishtails comes to us from the Barnes family of Huntington Beach. Molly and Hannah, seven and five years old, were on their first fishing trip, a visit to the High Sierras where they caught this fine stringer of rainbow trout. It's great to see children enjoying themselves fishing. For being our Fishtail this week, the Barnes family will receive a free copy of my book, Saltwater Fishing Adventures. Remember, every fishtail used on the air receives a free book. Send your fishtails, photos, or videos, and any questions or comments to Sport Fishing, P.O. Box 90, Montebello, California, 90640. Hey, George, thanks a lot for bringing us out. We had a great time. Really enjoyed it, Dan. Thanks a lot. And for those of you who've never been down here in San Diego, highly recommend you try a trip like this. El Capitan's only a two hour drive, hour and 45 minute drive from downtown LA. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us next week when we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. like to purchase a copy of today's episode of Sport Fishing, send $15 plus $2 shipping and handling along with today's date to Sport Fishing, P.O. Box 90, Montebello, California, 90640.